Move aside, Grandpa, because the future is now. Because one gigabit internet is finally becoming mainstream. Or at least it's becoming mainstream here in the UK, which is definitely quite a few years behind when it comes to its internet infrastructure. Seeing how in countries like Switzerland, you can already get 10 gigabit ethernet for next to nothing. So it still definitely has some catching up to do, but hey, it's progress. But with one gigabit internet finally becoming more accessible to more people, many people ask themselves if it's even worth it. Most people already see the websites they use daily load almost instantly. So is there any point to you upgrading to gigabit ethernet? So let's find that out today by comparing our new 1 gigabit download and 1 gigabit upload connection compared to our previous 350 megabit download and 40 megabit upload contract. So let's start off comparing exactly how fast websites can load. Starting with something pretty simple like my Patreon page. Hey, look at that. It's gonna be linked down in the video description below and even one dollar a month goes a long way in helping my channel so definitely check it out. But here it is on our previous connection and here it is on our brand new one gigabit connection. As you can see it's pretty much identical which is pretty good. Just means that you will be up on our Patreon in no time so you can help support the channel. Once you're done being a good viewer and supporting the channel on Patreon, let's say you want to check out some news on a website like say BBC News and as you can see this also loads pretty much instantly both on our previous connection and also on our current one. But part of the reason for this is that they aren't very demanding websites with a lot of elements to load. So let's check out something a bit more well demanding. For example, let's check out a page on Apple's website. And again, you can't really see any improvement on a previous connection compared to our new connection. Okay, what about say a page on Gigabyte's website? And also our new connection load in pretty much the exact same time with very little improvement. So clearly we aren't stressing out our connection too much here, seeing how we're running on a connection that's three times faster but we're still getting pretty much the same results. So what about something even more demanding than that? What about loading video on a site like YouTube? So let's see exactly how long it'll take to load up the first 20 seconds of my channel trailer. So let's see exactly how long it takes to first reach the website, load it in and then buffer in the very first 20 seconds of this 4k 25 FPS video and as you can see here there is quite a bit of a difference and again that's not even the most state-of-the-art video there is seeing how it's just 4k 25 FPS. Things like 8k video are becoming way more prevalent and also high FPS 8k video is also becoming way more popular so you can imagine that in those cases a gigabit connection will definitely come in handy. So at the very least, we found one use for one gigabit download speeds. But what about upload? And seeing how most internet service providers usually give you a way slower upload speed compared to your download, this is the area where most people would definitely see a big difference. But that mainly depends on if you're actually doing something that will actually, again, benefit from having such a fast connection. And even though things like online games take up barely any of your upload bandwidth but if you're say unfortunate enough to be like myself a content creator then you'll see huge gains when it comes to the speed at which you upload your videos so let's test it out firstly on a previous 40 megabit per second upload connection let's upload this 2 minute 30 4k 25 fps video and see how long this takes yeah, I literally had to speed up this footage because it's taking that long. But with Gigabit, I don't even have to speed up this footage because it's all done in a fraction of the time it took on a previous connection. So in this area, Gigabit Internet definitely scores a big win. But what about things that also require a very high upload speed like say streaming? Well, there, there's definitely a rate of diminishing returns when it comes to what kind of upload speed you get. Because even if you're streaming 4K 60fps, the bitrate would be nowhere near high enough to saturate a 1 gigabit connection. But you definitely see an increase in your stream's quality if you're also part of a network where a lot of activity happens at the same time and a lot of the users using up that precious bandwidth. And that brings me to one of the main reasons you may want to get gigabit. Because if you live or work or both in a place where there's a lot of devices using the internet at the same time, your current connection may get saturated very, very fast and you end up with devices fighting for that precious bandwidth. But with gigabit, well, that can be solved very easily. So with a gigabit link there, you'll be seeing way less decreases in your personal speed on your device when the network is being hit heavily by other users. So that's definitely a big win if you happen to be somewhere 
where the internet is used a lot. And that's pretty much everything you need to know about upgrading to Gigabit. Let me know if you're using Gigabit and exactly how big the difference was for you when you switched over. And let me know if maybe this video finally convinced you to switch over to Gigabit. And hey, once again, my Patreon does exist and it helps out the channel a lot. It's gonna be down in the video description below on a hurricane menu, check it out if you wanna enjoy even better content on this channel. I'd also love to thank my existing patrons, Gavin Burns, Ryan, LKB, Meg Sumner, and Blade Rake. Thank you guys so, so much. Down there, you're also gonna find Amazon links if you wanna get yourself a nice gigabit capable networking switch for your home network. Also down there's our old customs link if you wanna get 5% off on awesome customizable keyboards. Plus down there's our Discord server if you wanna to talk to me or others like this or whatever else really. Plus down there is our social media links as well. Anyway, that's about it, so I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, remember to subscribe, like, whatever, and I'll see you all in whatever I make next. Goodbye, everyone. Good. Bye. Thank you.